Hello everyone, thank you for joining us. We begin with the provinces. A hydro scheme in Kairukuhiri to produce 50 megawatts of electricity for some 10,000 people there. And in East Sibik, Yangaro Salsia, kickstarts Papua New Guinea's first wheat and chicken feed project. And later in the program, another in the cybercrime legislation, the registration of SIM cards. By 2018, a little over two years from now, a construction of a dam and a hydropower plant is expected to be completed in the Kairuku Hiri district of Central Province. It's a project set to light and change the lives of thousands. And here is the extra. There will be enough electricity to even answer Port Mosby's power needs. Mark Kayok reports. The Kairukuhiri district of Central Province is located on the western end towards Gulf Province. The district is home to more than 10,000 people and is much bigger compared to other three districts. With its massive landmass of more than 10,800 square kilometers, it's pretty much hard to manage. Developments taking place within the district is always a relief to the local member of parliament. The district will soon have a state-of-the-art hydro dam. The development is a major benefit for the district since independence. After Sabusa along the Hiritano Highway, there's no power linking villages to the district. Construction is underway with this place expected to be swarmed by workers over the next few weeks. The development will bring much needed services to the local people. The construction of a diversion tunnel is the evidence of the progress of the work. The 7 by 11 meters tunnel will be used to divert the flow of water to pave way for a temporary dam. Developer of the project PNG Hydro Limited admits that once completed, it will be beneficial to the people, the government and the developer. Uh, this one is going to be ready by May next year. Uh, so we are ready to, we are planning to divert in the water by May. Uh, 2017. So that's the plan for. So we are all set here uh, to achieve that goal. The project was developed through a mutual understanding between landowners, the local MP, the government, and the developer. Arrangements to employ workers was an obstacle, as a result, the work permits not ready on time. The project is of national importance and will be supported at all costs. Impressed with the project, local MP Peter Isoaimo said it's a relief of his shoulders considering the vast land area in terms of development. You know, our people uh, truly and humbly welcome this development to go ahead. Uh, we are thankful to Alan and the management too that they've selected uh, uh, my mother's clan area in the, on the, uh, at the entry of the, the main highway uh, to establish a substation there. So uh, obviously you can already see benefits like, you know, electricity going to our people and uh, far up to uh, Kairuku, Berena in Kairuku and off to the Gulf. The dam will be connected to the main station at Moitaka before supplying electricity to the districts and Port Mosby. PNG Power may save costs on diesel expenses if it were to utilize the dam in the long run. It can also provide sufficient power to generate electricity to the 2018 APEC summit. The people of Kairukuhiri have welcomed this new development. Let me thank you, Lord Allen, because I'm new for project in Mikishim Kamisai. So, me, how much Lord Allen grow and become the working this dam? I'm like walking this dam now, giving this uh, seven single village or place line. 
With the dam's main grid established closer to the people, they will now be able to venture into small business activities. Schools, aid posts and government centers will also benefit from this important project. Construction of the tunnel is expected to end around May next year. About 90% of the land access agreement has been completed by the developer. The dam will be completed before the end of next year in preparation for the supply of electric city. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill is fully supportive when he first visited the project site. The project complements a donor partner funding from the government of New Zealand. Under its aid program, New Zealand has given 11 million New Zealand dollars to roll out the rural electrification program in the district. Mark Kayok there, from Kairuku Hiri in central to Yangoru Salsia in Asipik, the center of another major project. That's after the break.